Otamahua or Quail Island is just a short ferry trip from Littleton and it has a vast and colourful history which includes some special stories of some of our most important Antarctic explorers. People used to come on the walkers to collect shellfish and so forth. It was well known for powers and mussels. And also, uh, early, prior to that, they were, the early Maoris used to come in, the earlier tribes that were here, come over here and collect uh, birds and eggs. The first um, farmers on the island were, were um, here and came on the Charlotte Jane and settled in um, 1850. And then we had it as a, an animal quarantine station, a human quarantine station, a leprosy colony. And now we're into recreation and restoration of the planting. In 1906 there was a, a leprosy patient um, diagnosed in Christchurch Hospital and they brought him over here and I put him into isolation and he lived in the hospital but the hospital was quite large and he rattled around in there so they um, decided that they would build a wee hut for him. We have a lookalike up there which is basically a replica of the hut. He died a lonely man because his, he was away from his family. He was actually born in Samoa and he was quite a lonely person, um, as most of them were that were on the island here. They finished up um, in, with nine huts um, uh, and nine patients. Um, and then in 1925, um, they moved the leprosy colony up into the Pacific. These are the dog kennels that were built in the early 1900s for the quarantine station initially and then they were later used by the um, huskies in going to Antarctica. Scott of course had his very famous race with the Munson to the South Pole and probably made a bit of a error in that he chose not to allow the dogs to pull the sleds for a lot of his trip. He, he was being very English and decided that the men could pull the sleds and they would have the dogs with them and of course a month had his dogs in front of the sled the whole time and just raced off to the pole. It's the uh, thing that they went in and this is how they got it, people got in. Oh, the, okay, oh, yeah. so the people got in there yep. and the dogs came out there? Yeah. Should we have a go? Yeah, you can. I can? Yeah. Do you think I'll fit? Yeah. It's quite cosy in here. I think the huskies maybe were a little bit smaller than me, just quietly. <laughs> Inside the little kennel area where it's all nice and warm. Do you think the dogs would have liked living there? Um, I don't know. I think it was fun for me. I always think that, um, there's dogs in there and, and I imagine that there is and it's kind of fun.